much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, we have the BoxyCharm versus BoxyCharm base unboxing for January 2021. I will leave my BoxyCharm playlist link to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. Today, I have this Violet Voss little coral palette on my eyes. And the lip TBD will be an upcoming video, TikTok, Instagram reels, etc, etc. BoxyCharm base is $25 a month. You get five full-size items and each box retails for over a hundred and twenty five dollars I have two different profiles one is my accurate profile with my age and more makeup heavy while my second profile is double my age and it's more skincare heavy hopefully both profiles will have different variations considering that the boxes are different sizes and this is the inside of the first box the first item is by Violet Voss this is the all of you forever eyeshadow palette that retails for thirty four dollars I haven't even heard of this palette but I already love Violet Voss and girl I had no no idea we were even getting wild Voss and it was just a quinky dink that I was wearing one of their palettes on today and this is what the color story looks like I think the only thing that this palette is missing are some green mattes only green shades in this palette are shimmers which is fine I love my shimmers but for a palette to be called all of you forever I automatically think of green when it comes to olives I know there's other colors and types of olives of course we got to do some swatches all of me Wishful Charmed Infinity. All of you, Wink, Endless Desire, Infatuated. Juicy, Major Spotlight, Lovebird, Olive Glow. And this is the entire palette swatched. Overall, this palette swatched really nice. All the shades are really smooth and creamy. There's pigment all the way through. I'm just a little bit concerned about this black shade, Infinity. I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit more. It almost suggests that it could be patchy, but of course we won't know until it's applied on the eyes using a brush when my eyelids are primed, because this is just my bare arm and we're just swiping on with our fingers. As I mentioned when I first looked at the palette, I was just hoping for a green matte to complement these green shimmers, but I'm hoping that these brown mattes will get the job done. I cannot wait to try this palette on my eyes. I got so excited about the palette that I forgot to start off with my choice item. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer that retails for $35. The shade that I have is MN3. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand just to see. That's what it looks like. Wow. It's definitely very light. This is gonna provide literally no coverage. I think that this would be a better option probably for the summer when you're not wearing something that thick. And there's SPF 20 in here. It is a multi-purpose all-in-one broad spectrum sunscreen, moisturizer, primer, and foundation with SPF 20 that's part of an effortless beauty routine for an ultra natural looking complexion. Yeah, you'll get that for sure. Most tinted moisturizers that I have used have been pretty light and hydrating, so it's good to see that this one one is continuing that trend. Definitely have to get a better feel for it applied on my face. I would probably still use another primer with it even though it says it's a foreign one with primer being incorporated into it but I got really dry skin. I am super stoked for this product. It is by Pharmacy. This is the Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner and it retails for $28. I love, love, love all the products I've ever used from Pharmacy. It is a brand that has not disappointed me. I have been so intrigued when this line came out. I can't recall if I actually did buy this bottle or not. I'm always intrigued by every product that they put out, whether it's on their honey line, their cherry line, or this papaya line. This is an alcohol-free 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates. It's funny, I was at Target earlier today I saw an exfoliating toner. I have never really thought about toners on the exfoliation side of things, so I'm very intrigued to see how that's gonna work out. Deep cleans pores, which I need. My pores are so congested lately. and controls oil without ever stripping skin. That is important for me being on the drier side. Can't tell you how many times I've been stabbed in the back by some products stripping at my skin. This is ideal for combination oily or acne prone skin. Even though that my skin falls on the more dry spectrum, it is also acne prone. It might not be like a cluster of pimples I will get a one off I have a couple concealed on today I actually put on concealer that's how bad the breakouts have been so I'm hoping that this will come and clutch to help relieve some of this chaos we got going on today next by dr. Brandt this is the do not age with dr. Brandt triple peptide eye cream and it retails for $82 Wow that's expensive I have not used this before 
this is what it looks like dispensed. It looks thin when it's dispensed out, but it feels a lot thicker once you start rubbing it in. There's like a little bit of a scent to it, but man, does that part of my hand feel really smooth, soft, and hydrated. And prior to that, I had just put on this Tattoo Moisturizer, blended it out, and then wiped it away. So it did get a little bit dry, and now it feels so much better. I'm curious to see how this is gonna work on my under eyes. I am very picky when it comes to my under eyes because of how dry and delicate and sensitive that eye area can be. I don't like being there forever, blending it out or tugging just to get a moisturizer to sink in. I don't wanna make the wrinkles any worse. And I do have some texture under there as well. And I also have a little bit of discoloration under there. So I do like a little bit more brightening in my eye creams as well. This is a deeply hydrating, which you can definitely feel that after it soaks in. Peptide power cream that helps diminish all sides of aging around the delicate eye area, including lines, wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness for refreshed, younger looking eyes. As I get older, anti-aging is also super important as well. And being a bio and a chemistry major definitely ruined me. It paid off in the end. That's where like the bad habits of no sleep started. And between physical and organic chemistry, it definitely aged me. This area I have definitely noticed is where I'm starting to show early signs of aging. Definitely have high hopes for this cream to come through. And then lastly from Trust Fun Beauty, this is the Lipgasm Lip Gloss in the shade Unprofessional and it retails for $18. This shade is one I know I probably won't use because of how bright it is and coral is not my color so I'm not gonna swatch it. I'm gonna set it aside for a future giveaway. I just recently hit 3k. Thank you guys so much for that. I truly love and appreciate you all. So stay tuned for a huge giveaway to celebrate the milestone. Overall, first box, thumbs up. I think we started off 2021 with a really good box. I know I'm very excited for all four of these products. Definitely most excited to see Pharmacy again. It's been a hot minute since I've seen this brand in BoxyCharm. It introduced me to one of my favorite cleansers, which is Clean B. Haven't even heard of this palette, so very stoked to see that. I know I tend to crap on Pure from time to time, but out of all the choice items, I know this and another one were like the only two that caught my attention. And after just blending it on my hand, it gets me very excited for the summertime, even though I love the cold weather, but how it blended out definitely reminded me of more warmer weather where we need very light coverage otherwise it's just gonna melt and then with how expensive this eye cream is all concerns of aging down here better disappear let's see what box two has in store for us we received another violet voss all of you forever palette just gonna make sure that nothing is shattered up in here and it's good so along with the gloss, this is going to be set aside for a future giveaway. By Avent Skincare, this is the Biphase Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Micellar Water, and it retails for $90. Wow. And I thought Rodial was expensive. Oh girl, for 6.7 fluid ounces, this better remove all my makeup by itself and then some. Infused with replenishing ingredients, Biphase Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Micellar Water presents an oil phase aiming to instantly dissolve Dissolve resilient and waterproof makeup in a micellar water phase working to capture impurities. It dissolves makeup without rubbing or rinsing. I am going to put you to the test on that event because lash glue or the eyeliner infused pen takes forever to get off my lids and I feel like it's causing really bad texture on my eyelids. The price is questionable though. It's not that the price is foreign to me when it comes to skincare because I love Tatcha and I just mentioned Rodile, another bougie brand. But overall, pleased with all the products that I've tried from this brand so far. Next by Pharmacy, this is the Daily Green Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer and it retails for $38 stoked that I got the toner in one box and the moisturizer in another. So excited to try this line. I don't know if they have a cleanser yet with this line. They should if they haven't already put one already, but that Queen Bee, oh, so, so good. Makes me so sad because I've been out of that cleanser for so long. This is an oil-free and silicone-free daily moisturizer that delivers lightweight, lasting hydration without leaving skin feeling greasy. This vegan, cruelty-free formula contains hyaluronic acid and a blend of nutrients known to help clear pores and reduce shine. Girl, I hate when that shine comes out and these pores need to be cleared. So this is allegedly a gel, which is funny because it looks like a thick boy. I put some <gasps> wow it looks thick but it is so lightweight no lie wow 
It feels really nice on the skin too. That is super lightweight and it's like instant smooth. Yeah, it doesn't feel greasy. I hate that greasy feeling though. Very curious to see how this is gonna work with the toner as well. I have the Cherry Serum, so hopefully it gets along with other products in their line, but I'm definitely very giddy that I got both of the products to test out because they were both variations. Next by Seraphine Botanicals, this is the Apple and Bomb Glow Lip Mask that retails for $25. Your girl can use all the lip products she can get. Comes in like a hand cream tube and it's cruelty free. I see that symbol. Oh wow, it smells really good. Very sticky. Definitely have to wipe away this lip and see how it works. It's definitely gonna come in handy. We are in winter right now. We were supposed to have snow. That was a lie. Good joke on us in North Carolina, but the wind is killer here. Not only my face, but my lips get super dry and chapped. I mean, they already are, even when we don't have colder weather, but I won't complain because we got one of their lip exfoliators in a previous box, which I really did enjoy. So I wonder how the exfoliator and this work hand in hand, but I have a lip exfoliator from Wish that I got in my FabFitFun. So I will try that with this and see how that helps my lips. And then the last product is by Queen Studio. This is the Dragon Duo that retails for $28. Yo, this this is cool. We got a liquid and a pencil liner. Oh, that is awesome. That's what's up. This is what the felt tip looks like. Oh, I like that. Nice line as well as it's matte black. And this is what the pencil looks like. And this is what the eyeliners look like swatched. Hopefully this black pencil builds up. Okay, it does. Woo! That was literally one swipe. So here we go, take two. And that's what it looks like after building up. Admittedly, I never get this excited getting eyeliner in a box because it's an item that we just see over and over and over again in our boxes. But to get a liquid for the upper lid and then you get a gel liner for your waterline, that is awesome and I highly appreciate that as well. I've only tried their lip products. I almost didn't recognize it right away. I had to stop myself. I'm like, wait, they had a really pretty purple, I think it was a liquid lipstick that I got in one of the boxes way back when. And I can't stop staring at the liquid swatch. That seems so promising on the lid. I can be extremely picky when it comes to eyeliners because some of them can run throughout the day some can crease after application but it looks like once it's on it's not going anywhere and i hope that the gel one doesn't run really don't want to be looking like a raccoon at the end of the day honestly couldn't be happier with both base boxes i only got one repeat product between both which is really surprising the base boxes have been doing a really good job getting different variations as opposed to premiums because premiums i definitely get more duplicate products but with the base box having so much variation to it i'm glad that I'm starting to see more of a variety of different products between the two profiles. It definitely gets so exciting seeing all the spoilers. And then when you get your boxes, you either don't get those products or you get a bunch of repeats and it's just not as fun. It's hard to say what my favorite product is. I feel biased saying pharmacy because I'm a huge fan of that brand, but I got the toner and the moisturizer. So I'm just ready to put those in my skincare routine and see how they work out, especially having some congested pores lately. I would love to know if you guys get BoxyCharm, did you get any of the same products as me? And if you got different products, products, which I received nine products and there's probably even more variations to this month as well. So I would love to know what you got and how everything worked for you in the comments. Did you guys get your premium boxes yet? I haven't got tracking yet, but I don't even remember what I picked for premium. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for February's boxes. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.